Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.blogspot.com. I hope you are well. So today's card is going to be this super quick and simple card using the Flower and Desert stamp set that's available in the Spring Summer Catalogue. Shall we get started? So let's move that out of the way. So I'm going to bring in a base of Thick Whisper White cardstock and that's just cut to a standard C6 size and I'm just going to fold that in half like so and saw it down so for this card I'm going to be stamping a background so for that I've got a piece of Whisper White that measures 10.1 by 14.4 and that just gives a two bill border around each side of the card like so. So for the stamping I'm going to bring in my Smoky Slate ink pad like so. Put that down there. And I'm going to bring in a couple of my stamps from that set like these little fern. as well as one of the balls uh, and this little burly bit here like so so shall we get started i'm just going to randomly stamp this out as and where i see fit so just ink it up stamp it down Just quite randomly. No particular pattern or order. Just enough to fill the space. And then I'm just going to move on to the next one, which I'm going to do this little cactus ball. And again, just randomly fitting that in. Here and everywhere. Like so. And then just to fill in the empty spaces, I'm just going to take that larger fern and just stamp that down again no particular order just slotting it in where I feel it would be beneficial and then finally taking a smaller fern and just filling in more of that space somewhere like so so you can go a bit OTT with this one to so try to rein it back where you can but I'm satisfied with that so that's going to be attached onto our card base using snail adhesive. Just flip it over, add the snail to the back. Bring back your card base and line that up. Like so. Right. So what I've done is I've already stamped the little cactuses out and fussy cut them out just to save time for the video however I will stamp this one well or as close to that one as I can for you and the reason for that is just purely because with this stamp set the cactuses 
you can kind of build your own. So for this one, I am using the Call Me Clover ink. Taking the largest cactus, I'm just going to plop that down. And then you get two other sizes, a smaller one and a teeny tiny one. Just ink them up. And you can just build it up as and where you feel is suitable. So you can go completely different, you can do the same, or reasonably the same. So this one I could do two here. Like so. And then for the little flowers, I'm using Melon Mambo Ink. And that little flower that's available. Let's ink it up and pop it on again wherever you like. This is such a benefit to this stamp set is ha the freedom to create as you see fit. But of course, that's the time consuming part. So that, as I said, I've already cut it out, ready. And grab in some mini dimensionals. No, I attached these with snail, I do apologize. So I'm just going to lay these down with some snail. Onto my card. Like so. And again, this is a perfect opportunity for you to play with the composition. So maybe I want that one this side this time. Maybe that one just there. Okay, and for the sentiment, I've took the Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful stamp and I've heat set that into onto basic black in Whisper White. And I'm just going to flat fishtail the ends, so just trim off the extra little bit. And just cut down the centre and cut into each piece, like so. Now I'm going to take my mini dimensionals and just put them behind, like so. And then you can hide the tail bits of the cactuses, like so. And there you have today's card, one that pop into the description box below where you can see a full list of the items used, as well as the links to my online shop as to where you can purchase them. While you're down there, like, comment and subscribe and why not share to your social media so everybody can see how quick and easy it is to make such an effective card. I'll see you around. Bye.